and I'll kind of talk about them a little bit. I did some numbers on them. See, here's the problem with the numbers with, because we're all a number system. You guys know that, right? With short ports, we do a lot of numbers and um, weight distribution numbers, your barrel, barrel flex, uh, compression testing numbers. Is it a soft barrel? You know, is it a hard barrel? Usually when you get in that 200 compression, you know, it's going to be a soft barrel real quick out of the wrapper, you know, uh, if it's got a 220 compression, 225 compression, it's going to be a little bit harder barrel. It takes a little bit longer to get there, but it's, you're going to get the, basically the same performance unless it's different tri-layers. And I'll go through that in a minute about the tri-layer because you can't build a, a, a bat for Brandon Murray and then turn around and build a bat for me and expect to have the same barrel. Because remember, we're fitting you. We're fitting you guys. So I'm going to talk about those two bats tonight too with the DDT model and the difference between them two. I'm getting a lot of questions in the last two weeks about oh, about what's the difference between the DDT, my Dave Velasca series, you know, signature series DDT and the Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker is a 12.5 uh, inch barrel. Uh, DDT um, is the 12 inch barrel. It's it's a wig popper. All wig poppers that have, all wig poppers have twelve inch barrels, and the um, the tri layer two different tri layers. My tri layer is more geared toward medium slow. You know, Jawbreaker Alan Hancock's medium high. It's going to be a little bit tougher because of his bat speed. 